hello, hello. We are uh, tripoded here. Ready to rock and roll. Um, yeah. So this is my guitar. Um, doesn't belong to someone else. Uh, my first 12 string that I've owned. Um, and I just really, really like the sound of 12 strings. That's why I just had to have one. Um, this one was reasonably priced and, and pretty nice. So, as you saw from the uh, from the rundown on it earlier, um, and there are just some songs that would not be the same without uh, 12 string. One of them being uh, "Sweet Madam Blue" by Sticks, and "Wish You Were Here" by Pink Floyd. Those are two of my favorite songs. Um, so, uh, and they. Uh, intro with the 12 string so <clears throat> what we're going to do here is we are going to start off with the precautions some people say i'm too cautious but you can't be especially when you're working on someone else's guitar but this just happens to be mine and uh, with the breed love i like to make a little uh um thing that goes here to, to protect it from the strings so um, what I just did there is I put an impression in it see that um, to uh, mimic the shape of the uh, the bridge and I can cut along that little impression I put in this cardboard or whatever you want to call it, it's not cardboard, it's a card of paper for making flashcards and such. And so, it fits on there pretty good, especially where the strings will be um, doing their thing. And uh, so, then I just kind of uh, tack tape it in place. Also, another precaution that I like to do when it comes to uh, my own particular procedure here, my extremely convoluted procedure, got some rubbing compound on it, it's no big deal. Um, a lot of people say I'm too cautious. So anyway, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna show the first string, and I'm gonna cut the rest of them off off uh, camera, um, or first two strings, first set, and then. Uh, I'll cut the rest of them off off camera. Spare you that uh, that pain. I know they're not ringing out much. This is actually this one. It's coming loose here. The octave string. I'll talk more about octave strings later on. So that's yeah, nice and loose. Get them both nice and loose, and then I cut them up here. And the reason for that is, especially on breed loves, because I don't want to be pulling a full string in and out of here every time I change the strings, because they are abrasive and they can waller out the hole. Um, so the less I have to pull through and make that scratching noise, the better I feel about the whole situation. And of course, I just take the strings and uh, dewound them from the uh, pegs back here that you may or may not be able to see. I think you can. Yeah. Okay. So there's the first uh, set of strings gone. And I uh, am going to immediately put these uh, strings in the trash. So that's how I do it on Breed Love. Okay, all the strings are off now. I'm glad I spared you that. Um, yep, 
Yep, yep. Uh, one of the things I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to dress the frets, polish them up. Um, I'll do that off camera as well. I think I might do the first one to, uh, what do you call it, uh, to demonstrate how I do it. Um, I have very little tape left, so I have a tape budget. And it uh, doesn't matter whether I have a lot of tape or a little tape, I always do it the same way. But we'll go into that in a second. First, I want to uh, take my little phone here. Not so little anymore. This is new. Um, don't particularly like the phone, but whatever. Um, I'll take a little peek at the inside real quick. So we are online. Got to get a little light going on. I would use my endoscope, but uh, I reserve that for uh, for other uh, guitars that I need to. Uh, to uh, look for damage on this one is I don't need to look for damage but anyway you can see the uh, that uh, bridge support system that uh, breed love is famous for um, way in the background you can see the the uh, jack to um, the wire right there now Stumac sells this type of bridge support system I believe he calls it a bridge doctor so if we flip around, I can't see what I'm looking at. I think that over here, there's the battery. I'm going to change that right away, lest I forget. Um, so, yeah, everything inside looks pretty good. Well crafted. So, I don't see any major issues. See some kind of smudge over there. Don't know what the fuck this is. Or what the heck that is um, no cuss words on here but anyway <clears throat> might beat that one out that's the inside so um, real quick I will uh, go grab some steel wool and we'll demonstrate with just the first fret um, and uh, well the 20th fret I believe the first one on this end. I usually start from this end and go that way. So once I get to here, or even here, I think I'm basically halfway done. So, anyway, we'll uh, demonstrate that next. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and change battery right now. I believe this thing just Velcro's in there. Mm -hmm. Lots of Velcro. And actually pull it out and uh, this battery is probably still good but since I'm changing the strings and I have access to the, uh, the battery here easy access it's not for retail sale um, so this is the original battery um, I have access so I'm going to just go ahead and make it happen right now that way I know my battery is good and I don't have to uh, deal with lifting the strings. Battery is done. Don't have to worry about that no more. Let's start working on a fret here. And to avoid getting uh, anything inside the cavity there, especially when I'm working at this end, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some uh, card paper over this. real quick tape it down go like that and I also don't want to uh, slide off the fret and it's not likely I'm going to hit it down in here but throw a couple pieces out here just to make sure I'm not going to uh, damage the finish of the top and oh yeah one more uh, tape session here just about to do some new tape here and so no, I'm not going to tape off every fret that's the key here um, I will use this tape here 
until it's no longer usable and I'll replace it but I will move this these two pieces of tape to the next fret these two particular ones and uh, this is quadruple zero um, steel wool I'm just going to give it a quick polish get some of the uh, dunge off of there looking pretty good already this is pretty much a brand new guitar um, so they'll clean up easy so then I take this and I put it here and I put this here and move on to the next fret so that's basically how I do it that way I don't have to waste a bunch of tape doing the whole thing it takes the same amount of time actually less because I don't have to rip it off the roll anyway that's it for that so I will finish this up and then uh, later on I will just before I put the strings on I will be uh, putting some synthetic fretboard oil on this unit here to uh, to juice it up just a skosh.